Welcome. The purpose of this course is for everyone to understand the power that there is within grief. A power of transformation, a power of growth, a power that organically relies at the core of the deep suffering that is experienced in a situation of grief. The other aspect I would like everyone to understand is that we aren't here to try to take grief away. The purpose of this course is to learn to live with grief as part of our life, as we live with love, as we live with other emotions. We live with grief as part of our holistic, unceasing threading of what we call life. These in-betweens moments between each breath, between yesterday and tomorrow, and between last year and next year. So this is where I am welcoming you, as to consider grief a positive emotion. Let's go. So let's start by grief as an emotion before moving on to grief as a neuroscience research topic. What is grief? Is it possible to have a standard definition of grief? Or can we give grief our own definition in about five to eight words? Maybe you may want to take a notebook, write down what is grief for you. The facts are that grief is universal. Everyone is bound to experience grieving at some point in their life. The second fact is that grief is very personal. So it is very difficult to define it through a standardized sentence or a standardized expression. There are, however, commonalities with all the different types of griefs. There is usually sadness, sorrow. All these can be expressed through different expressions such as The different expressions of grief can include sadness, sorrow, moodiness, loss of appetite, insomnia, and many more. What is important with grief it is that it steers up from down the core of our being. It steers up an authentic expression of the personality of who is grieving. This is where it comes as a very personal experience. And as it is a personal experience, it is very sensitive to speak about grief 